I like to think about what I like to call the three R's of This is Jessica, senior agronomist from Sound Agriculture, standing in a harvested cornfield in Washington State today. We are going to talk about some different things to think about when we think about crop residue, keeping it on our field at the end of the season. Lately, I've been hearing about some of the difficulties with leaving stubble or crop residue on the field at the end of the season. From a soil health perspective though, there are many benefits to this. I'm gonna go over two that are the primary benefits that I can think of for soil health. First and foremost, leaving stubble in your field or crop residue on top of your field or a little of both helps with soil erosion. We know that throughout the winter, we have all the winter woes that we go through, whether it's heavy winds, the freeze and thaw cycle of snow or a lot of rain. Allowing there to be a protective layer on your soil and a little bit of in your soil allows us to keep our soil in place throughout the weather conditions. Second benefit to leaving crop stubble in your field or crop residue on top of your field or a little of both is keeping roots in place throughout the season helps with maintaining the soil structure. And this in turn helps with maintaining soil integrity as well as that space in your soil for soil biology to thrive. This also helps with water retention and breaking down that soil organic matter or that all that crop residue in the top to build up your soil organic matter throughout the season. When I think of crop residue and leaving stubble in the field, I like to think of it like building a house. So think of our crop residue on top of the surface as the roof that you're putting on your soil to protect yourself, protect your soil throughout the winter. And the stubble and the roots still in the soil as the piping uh, and the wall structure. So having those both together in your field throughout the winter helps provide this protective structure around your soil so that when we come out of the winter and we unveil uh, what's underneath, we get this thriving and happy, happy soil ecosystem going on. Keep in mind that the crop residue on top of your soil surface is full of nutrients. So removing any of that from your field is removing essentially free nutrients from your field. So there are many benefits to figuring out the best management practices for your field, for your soil, to keep some residue in the soil, on the soil. Now, I know you might be thinking of some of the negative sides to leaving crop residue on the field or stubble in the field. Some of those being water retention, that is too much for some people going into the next season, not having your soils dry out in time. Another one is leaving stubble on your field creates a home for maybe negative microbes to, to harbor throughout the winter. And the other one being the difficulty of bringing a planter through leftover crop residue on the field. My two words of encouragement and insight into these negatives is one, when we think about bacteria and pest pressure that we might be getting in the field, it's important to remember that like our gut, like our skin, like many places where microbiology is occurring and happening, where you have bacteria, you have fungi, it's always important to remember that it's a holistic system. So if we start with a healthy environment, it's more difficult for us to end with an unhealthy environment. So when we think about the triangle of pest pressure and diseases, we think about having the right environment, the right pathogen, and the right host in order to create a, a disease pressure in our field. That means that going into the end of the season, if you are managing your field to make sure that you aren't creating that sort of triangle for going into the winter season, then it's less likely you're going to have any sort of pest pressure come out into your residue throughout the winter. My second word of advice and something to really keep mind of when we decide whether or not and how we are going to keep residue on our field or stubble on our field is just remembering that every environment is a little bit different and to lean on your neighbors to determine what is best for your environment. That's it for today. Thanks for stopping by and happy harvest.